goodbye to 2023 and wearing your underwear out on the street. Hello to 2024 and quiet luxury. Let's welcome Alexandra Munzel, wardrobe stylist and owner of Alexandra Styles. Thank you. And you I'm so look glad beautiful. to be here. Great to have you. Thank you. Love your jacket. Thank you. All right. Appreciate that. I, I said it. Underwear is out. <laughs> I am so tired of seeing celebrities walking out in their underpants with just a sheer over thing uh -huh. and thinking that that's appropriate for a restaurant. Right. Please tell me right. that's out. You know, there's an element of sheerness that's in, but it's a little bit more to the opaque side okay. than the true sheer. So I think we're going to start to see a little bit more conservative come in in 2024. I like that. <laughs> that quiet luxury you just mentioned, which we're going to see a lot of. Yes, exactly. So so what is quiet luxury? I've asked myself this a bunch of times, too. I'm like, what exactly is it? But it's really about having a moment in your own sense of fashion, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So whatever you put together for your ensemble, it's going to make sense this year. Yeah. As opposed to the haphazard things we've seen a lot of in 2023. Yeah. It's sort of like what you wore was your look and it's you know, true. walk out the door and this is me and it's going to work for me. We're going to start to see a little bit more thought put into the head to toe look. And, and from what my understanding is, quiet luxury meaning you're not wearing a bunch of logos all over the place, right? So kind of what's old is new again and that's yes. cyclical. Fashion is so cyclical, it right? It is, with a twist. With a twist, yes. with a twist. But you say to start with your body type yes. and to know your body type. And you've brought a beautiful little board <laughs> Thank you. explaining what our body types typically are, starting with the pear shape. And that yes. is one of the more common shapes shapes. It is. Like I mean, like. there's five main body shapes and I tell all of my clients with whom I work that if you know your body shape, shopping for yourself and getting dressed every morning is at least 50% easier yeah. because you know what's going to work for you. So all of these things going into your closet and trying to figure out what's going to work when we walk out the door, we look good, we feel good yeah. to really embrace that element. It's just knowing what your figure actually is. So yes. You can dress it properly. So yes, starting with the pear shape, that is a very common shape. It just means that your hips proportionally are a little bit wider than your shoulders. We can see it emphasized. Mm -hmm. We can see, you know, just a little bit wider than your shoulders, but that's all that is. And there's ways that you can check online just to know, and then you can start shopping appropriately for your body Absolutely. type, which you should, because you want to look great when you walk out the door. Yes. But you were mentioning chunky heels. You brought a beautiful pair of Salvatore Ferragamos. Yes. Uh, they do have a little bit of a, a wider heel, mm -hmm. but it does seem a little bit more tapered. Yes, and anything with a platform is going to have more of a chunky heel by nature. Yeah. It has to, otherwise people are going to be falling all over the sidewalks. Um, but one of the main reasons why I brought this is the slingback element. Yes. We're going to see a lot of the slingback um, here in 2024, so more oh, so, so than a closed back. All right, and I, I love shoes. I also love purses. <laughs> yes. And you brought a couple of examples here with you. I this did. is this is really sweet. I like this. Yeah. So the slouchy bag is big. We've seen the refined look for a while. Yeah. Um, but this whole slouchy, um, sort yeah, of oversized, if you will. Mm -hmm. I mean, if this is going to be your sort of your evening handbag, it's going to be a little bit more on the you know the the slouchy loose side yeah. than what we've seen of the real structured envelope clutches. You're right. Yes. Um, same exactly. with the with the regular sort of everyday bag. Mm -hmm. Whereas we used to look at this more as the weekender. What can we shove in it? What can I put? <laughs> a, you know in there to get on the airplane. Yeah. This is going to be more language. of a style that we're going to see throughout 2024 is that really oversized, slouchy yeah. look in different colors. And it and does have a little bit of structure though. So it's not totally falling it's apart. It's not falling apart. Yeah. Right, exactly. It doesn't look like you're, you know, carrying around your sleeping bag or something like right. that. It's got a little element of design to it. And if we can talk about Pantones for a moment. So yes. last year was all about Barbie pink. Yeah. Right. So Barbie Barbie Bar. Yes. This this year it's a little bit softer. It is. Yeah. I think they're calling it peach fuzz. Peach fuzz. Mm -hmm. Peach fuzz. Yeah. And so with the peach fuzz in mind, now we don't have peach fuzz necessarily represented here, but we you don't. do see softer tones. Yeah. You see also some really very pretty uh, brighter tones. So yes. maybe you can walk through a few of these examples and Absolutely. explain how well, this just, is 2020. And so people understand what peach fuzz really is. It's yeah. sort of that merger of the pink world to the orange world. And I'm one of those rare breeds that actually likes the color orange. Yeah. Um, and there's so many too. different hues and shades of every color. So yeah. finding which one works for you is yeah. great. So some of these pieces that I brought um, just really emphasize what we're going to see as far as trends in 2024. Mm -hmm. This whole metallic world, we're going to see it's very tastefully done, um, but it's more of a metallic in a design element than just full head to toe yeah. kind of a metallic look. Right. Pantone colors, the pastels are big, big spread this year too. So um, really that head to toe monochromatic look is mm -hmm. continues 
to be a great look, um, but really looking for those soft colors in your wardrobe. Yeah. That's another big trend that we're seeing, a little less of this, the super skinny yeah. and coming into more of a wide leg, a little bit of the menswear element, but uh -huh. not oversized. It's very so, nice, very yeah. nice. Yeah, what else do you have here? So this is, um, those sort of spring florals, we've seen a lot of that ditzy print um, <laughs> and those really oversized dresses. Um, the actual cuts of pieces are getting a little bit more refined for uh -huh. 2024, but still carrying through with sort of a moderated print for yeah, florals. That's yeah, so you'll see a lot of that as well. Very nice. Yeah. And we have time for just that one. Asymmetrical hemlines uh -huh. um, are going to be a huge thing as well. So we're going to see a lot of skirts, dresses, tops that don't have full symmetry to them and yeah. it just makes an outfit or a piece of an outfit really, really interesting. That's wonderful. And yeah. you can also incorporate things that you already have in your closet, just mm -hmm. bring it up to life. But if anybody wants your services, yes. where should they find you? Well, I'm online. I do have a website at www.alexandrastyles.com. Thank you so, so much for coming on yes, and sharing thank you with for us. Having me. Bring all these beautiful items. Go get styling, everyone. <laughs> We're back after this. Thank you.